Energy Market Weekly Updates. Price volatility over the last week has been acute for both gas and oil market. As for the natural gas market, the news of an extended outage at the US Freeport terminal and the Gazprom's announcements of further cut in the amount of gas can pump through the Nord Stream 1 pipeline to Europe are the major issues last week, leaving the global gas market outside the United States even more under supply than it already was. On June the 14th, the announcements by the Freeport LNG terminal operator shows that resumption of partial operation is targeted to occur in approximately 90 days, but a completion of all NASA's repairs and return to full plant operations is not expected until late 2022. Freeport LNG initially said the facility would be offline for three weeks. U.S. LNG export hit a record 9.7 billion cubic feet per day last year, according to the EIA. Freeport LNG is one of the seven LNG export facilities currently operating in the United States. It provides around 17% of U.S. LNG export. Export from the Freeport LNG terminal averaged 2 billion cubic feet per day from January to May this year, compared with 1.8 during the same period last year and an annual average of 1.9 in 2021. Freeport has been operating at a high utilization rate this year because of strong demand from Europe. Almost three quarters of LNG export from Freeport were shipped to Europe during the five, f- first five months of this year, compared with 29 on average last year. High spot natural gas prices at European trading hubs instead of global LNG market participants with destination flexibility to deliver more LNG supply to Europe. However, the wide difference between TDF and Harry Hub reflects the lo- logistical constraints on both sides of the Atlantic. That is, there is insufficient liquefaction capacity to meet growing export demand in the United States, while in Europe, there is insufficient regasification capacity. As for the European market, Russia Gazprom has announced a further cut in the amount of gas can pump through the Nord Stream 1 pipeline to Europe. The second supply capacity cut in many days means that Nord Stream 1 would run to just 40% of its capacity. Now, gas supplies via the Nord Stream pipeline can be currently provided in the amount up to 67 million cubic meters per day, while the expect volume is 167. Gazprom also told Italian gas giant Ani that it would use gas through a different pipeline by roughly 15% on Wednesday. These supply disruptions have sent a shock way through the global gas market, with the U.S. Henry Hub prices falling about 20% and prices in Europe and Asia climbing more than 30% in reaction. Asian LNG spot prices on the Prospect and for August delivery reached $38 per million British thermal units mark on June 16th and was last traded around 34 with Dutch TDF prices climbing from 83 to around 124 euro per megawatt hour. And JPEG's LNG future contract for August was last traded around $31 per million British thermal units. In terms of price volatility, JPEG prices have risen even more despite a lack of significant volume flowing from the Asia-Pacific to Europe with the arbitrary window now closed, the outage in the Atlantic Basin certainly have a ripple impact on Asia. With the Russian pipeline supplies falling, European demand for spot LNG cargo is likely to remain strong, and the Freeport out extension is likely to force Northeast Asian term buyers to seek alternative spot cargo to meet summer restock demand. So European gas and Asian LNG prices is likely to remain tightly correlated until demand is finally shut up by high prices. Most market participants support the view that JKM prices are likely to be particularly volatile during the second half of this year, so JPEG's LNG contract will be a good tool to hatch against fluctuations in spot prices set on a monthly average basis. As for the crude oil market, crude futures traded sharp lower on Friday after the United States announced a 75 basis point hike in its target interest rate. Even though economic slowdown fears persist, the broader downward price pressures were mitigated by tighter prompt oil product market balances, reinforcing the need to maximize refinery throughputs. For the longer term, world oil demand is projected to surpass pre-pandemic levels this year and next year, according to OPEC and IEA's latest oil market report released last week. Among the product play, demand growth is supported by the recovery in jet kerosene demand and the petrochemical feedstock LPG in NAFTA, notably in China, the United States, and India. While advanced economies in the Western countries are underpinning oil demand growth this year, much of the parent demand growth might result from a robust recovery in Asia demand. Last week, the spread between JPEX Dubai and IC Brent witnessed a quick rebound from recent low levels because of the report of Libyan's production recovery. And the spread may find its report level during this year's volatility if Asian demand continues to recover. Okay, that's what we have this week. For more information, please stay tuned to the JPEX Energy Market Weekly Updates.